Okay, now it's part 5 of 9 on naming organic compounds. We are going to name alcohols. We're still on grade 12 organic chemistry. Okay, so the functional group for alcohols is the hydroxyl group or hydroxy group. Okay, so this is the hydroxyl group. You can see even in the name alcohols, you have OH. Okay, so this is the hydroxyl group, the functional group for alcohols. Okay. So, one, write down the IUPAC name of the following compound. This is the compound. Okay, write down the IUPAC name of the following compound. You can see you have the hydroxyl group. So, this is the hydroxyl group. This is an alcohol. We are going to name this alcohol. So, to name alcohols, you have to find the longest continuous carbon chain that contains the carbon atom joined to the hydroxyl. Okay, this is the carbon atom joined to the hydroxyl. Our longest continuous carbon chain is made up of two carbon atoms. Okay, so now after that, you are going to number the chain to give the carbon atom joined to the hydroxyl group the lower number. Okay, so if you have to number this chain, this will be carbon number one. And this will be carbon number two. In this case, you have only two carbon atoms. Okay, so there is no need for you to specify. Okay, so if this hydroxyl group was on this carbon atom, this will be our carbon number one. And this will be our carbon number two. Okay, everywhere where you find this hydroxyl group, that will be carbon number one. Because we have only two carbon atoms. Okay, and then after that, you are going to always name the branches first if branches are present in this case you don't have any branch okay and then after that you are going to name the chain or the parent chain last okay this is your parent chain made up of two carbon atoms so the parent chain is made up of two carbon atoms you are going to use this prefix ethan right ethan Okay, and then you are going to follow this with the suffix OL. Okay, OL. OL. This suffix. You can see OL in the name alcohols. Okay, now you have ethanol. No need for you to specify on which carbon atom is the hydroxyl group joined to because you only have two carbon atoms. Okay, now let's look at question two. Okay, now question two. Write down the IUPAC name of the following compound. This compound. Okay. So, you have to know that this is also an alcohol. You can see this is the hydroxyl group. Sometimes, you can show the bond between oxygen and hydrogen. They didn't show the bond between oxygen and hydrogen. But here you have the bond between oxygen and hydrogen. You can show the bond or you don't have to show the bond. Okay. Now you can see this is an alcohol because you have this hydroxyl group, which is the functional group for alcohols. Okay. So this is an alcohol. Now let's name this alcohol. I can close this for now. As always, to name alcohols, find the longest continuous carbon chain that contains a carbon atom joined to the hydroxyl. Okay, this is the carbon atom joined to the hydroxyl. Now, after that, you are going to number the chain to give the carbon atom joined to the hydroxyl group the lower number. Okay, you have to give this carbon atom the lower number. So we can start from the left to the right. Or you can start from the right to the left because the carbon atom which is joined to the hydroxyl group will still be on carbon number two. Okay, so one, two, three. Now you have this carbon atom which is joined to the hydroxyl group. And then after that, always name the branches first if branches are present. You don't have any branch. Okay, you don't have any branch. And after that, you are going to name the chain or the parent chain last. The parent chain is made up of three carbon atoms. Okay. The parent chain is made up of three carbon atoms. Okay. So you are going to use the prefix propen. Okay. Three carbon atoms. Propen. Okay. Propen. 
you don't have any branch okay the branches are not present you don't have any branch so you are going to use the prefix propen and you have to specify where the hydroxyl group is the hydroxyl group is on carbon number two okay so you are going to use two and then you follow this with the suffix ol okay ol you can see ol in the name alcohols okay so you have propen to all now question three write down the iupac name of the following compound okay this is the compound you can see again this is an alcohol you have this hydroxyl group and you also have another hydroxyl group two of them okay so this is an alcohol okay now let's name this alcohol as always find the longest continuous carbon chain that contains the carbon atom joined to the hydroxyl group okay the longest will be this one you can see this carbon atom joined to the hydroxyl group and this carbon atom is also joined to the hydroxyl group okay so you have two groups and the parent chain is made up of four carbon atoms okay one two three four you don't have any branch so the numbering can start from left to the right one two three four okay or from right to the left one two three four okay whether from left to the right or from right to the left you are going to have the hydroxyl group on carbon number two and again the hydroxyl group on carbon number three okay so it doesn't matter whether from right or from left so we can start from left one two three and four okay so you have the hydroxyl group on carbon number two and the hydroxyl group on carbon number three now the parent chain is made up of four carbon atoms okay name the chain last or name the parent chain last you don't have any branch okay so the parent chain is made up of four carbon atoms you are going to use the prefix bit done okay bit done right and then you have two groups two hydroxyl groups you are going to use two comma three because you have two groups you are going to use the prefix die right die because you have two groups and then you are going to follow this with the suffix ol ol okay diol so you have butane 2 comma 3 diol okay always remember to put a hyphen between a letter and the number always put a hyphen between a letter and the number okay you can see that always put a hyphen between a letter and the number okay now let's move on now question four write down the iupac name of the following compound this is the compound you can see you have the hydroxyl group so this is an alcohol we are going to name this alcohol as always find the longest continuous carbon chain that contains the carbon atom joined to the hydroxyl group okay this is the carbon atom joined to the hydroxyl group okay and then to number the chain to give the carbon atom joined to the hydroxyl group the lower number so you can see one two three four five six seven okay one two three four five six so the longest is seven carbon atoms okay one two three four five six seven we have to start from the right to the left so that we can give this carbon atom the lower number the carbon atom joined to the hydroxyl group you have to give it the lower number so we have to start from the right so that we can give this carbon atom the lower number the carbon atom joined to the hydroxyl group so you have one two three four five six seven okay you have the hydroxyl group on carbon number three now you have this as a branch and this as a branch and this is also another branch okay so you have this this is a methyl you can see that when the branch is made up of one carbon atom the branch is known as methyl and this is also another branch a methyl and this is also another branch made up of two carbon atoms okay and this is an ethyl okay ethyl okay ethyl so you have three branches right now after that always name the
the branches first. If branches are present, you have the branches. Okay, so you are going to name your branches. Which one are you going to start with? You have to write your branches in alphabetical order. You have ethyl and methyl. E comes first. Okay, E comes before M in alphabetical order. So you have on carbon number four, an ethyl. Okay, four, ethyl. So you have on carbon number four, an ethyl. Okay, this is your branch. And on carbon number three and four, you have methyl. Okay, you have two groups. So you are going to have three comma four, right? On carbon number three and four, you have methyls. Okay, so three comma four, you are going to use the prefix di because you have two groups which are identical. Okay, you are going to use di methyl, two of them, di methyl. Okay, so you are done naming the branches and then. After that, you are going to name the chain or the parent chain last. The parent chain is made up of seven carbon atoms. Okay, so you are going to use the prefix heptan. Okay, heptan. Okay, and you have to locate your hydroxyl. Your hydroxyl group is on carbon number three. Okay, and then you are going to follow this with the suffix ol. Okay, ol. So the full name is 4 ethyl 3,4 dimethyl heptan 3 all. Okay, we are done with part 5 of 9. Please check for part 6 of 9, which is going to be on ketones. Okay, so for now, we are done. Until next time, I will talk to you soon.